Hi there, I'm Kimberly Trowbridge and I'm standing here in the beautiful Lodell Reserve. This is a public garden, 150 acres of gorgeous lush pathways, just a short ferry ride away from downtown Seattle. One of the cool things about Bloedel Reserve is the creative residency program, uh, where different creative thinkers get to come and actually live here on the grounds of the garden and have free range night and day uh, to do research. I did my first creative residency here in May 2018, and I was so inspired by my experience here that I was able to return multiple times during different seasons to watch changes happen in the garden. And so through this development of a fellowship program for me, I was able to come multiple times throughout the last two years. And that's how I got to develop this body of work that is now on display at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. Here we are in what I call the theater of destruction. This is a scene that I got to witness happen over time. So one of my earlier residencies, this was not here, but there was a large windstorm that came through and so created this whole new theater of interactions that I really fell in love with. And so I think of these characters here and the large cedar and these wonderful twisted cedar trees here um, as characters kind of in a Renaissance painting. So characters that are sort of frozen in time on a shallow stage. And so I have different kind of affiliations with each of them. Like I think of this as the wise bozo, the wand. So it has magical powers, but is kind of goofy or funny. This wonderful tall cedar with the lyrical limbs bouncing down, kind of looking over all of the other characters. These guys here, I think of the wrestlers or the lovers kind of off to the side. And so this kind of stillness and time of these characters upon a stage that have witnessed this destruction that happened, that it's both still, but of course it's alive. And so the kind of regeneration that is already at play here and this element of death, uh, the element of death within the theater of nature as something that we as humans can learn from and allow our consciousness to kind of mingle with into a kind of awareness. And so this stage, this theater of destruction became a really important metaphor for me uh, for the creative act, the tearing down, the recreating and the witnessing. Here I am in the Moss Garden, one of my favorite gardens here at Bloedel. Something that is of particular interest and inspiration to me in this space are these beautiful old growth cedar trees and the way they gesture like figures in the space. And also the softness of the moss ground inspires tactility, touch, the desire to be touched by nature. Some of the paintings that I developed in this space are called Nymph and Skunk Cabbage and inspired by, the, by this idea of being transformed by nature. And so when the skunk cabbages are in blossom here, they have this wonderful fleshy and pungent uh, visual and scent to them. And so those among the moss and the cedar trees really inspire this feeling of the human element in nature. And so something about a garden that's different than being in a wild forest is this collaboration, this curation of the human with nature. But ultimately what's happening is we are being changed, we are being cultivated, we are being transformed by the incredible interactions that she offers us. I'm very interested and attracted to the geometry of this space. 
the way the different layers of green parse out and kind of create a grid out of nature. So the kind of yellowish green of the grass, surrounded by the deeper green of the yew hedges, and then the beautiful curtains of the cedar boughs uh, acting like walls in the distance. This space has been a really meaningful place for me as an artist. Um, it's brought up this idea of reality versus perception, reality versus the imagination. So the idea of this reflected image of the universe or of the self, this kind of mirror that the water creates, this character of Persephone from mythology uh, really started to announce itself to me here. This character that has access both to the earthly realm, but also the darker under realm, uh, where she became the bride of the underworld. And that idea or this metaphor of one who can transgress or transverse two different universes that has access to both of those, to me is a really beautiful metaphor for the artist. Um, being able to see both the imagination and reality, but also those deeper sort of hidden parts of the self that we bring to light and manifest and give to the world. Welcome to the Camellia Walk. This is my favorite place at Bloedel Reserve. I am struck by the blossoms of the pink camellias against the dark backdrop of the old growth forest. This is a really unique way to see a camellia, usually kind of a topiary in a suburban yard, but here it gets gangly and wild, almost like a gothic chandelier. When I enter this space, I feel like I'm seen. I feel witnessed when I walk into this part of the garden. There's a kind of erotics of perception that happens here for me. The camellias, the soft ground cover of the oxalis, the sword ferns rustling and brushing up against a thigh. This is where my grand camellia walk panels that are in my exhibition were conceived of. Again, that kind of erotics of perception. This place is hugely inspiring to me. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of my favorite painting sites at Bloedel. I want to especially thank Bainbridge Island Museum of Art and Bloedel Reserve for this unique partnership and opportunity for me to explore my creative voice in this amazing environment. My show at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art will be up through the end of spring 2021. I hope that you all can make it.